This problem asks if the set of all vectors v, um, v equals x, y, um, such that this equation is true, 2x plus 3y equals 0, uh, if that is a subspace of R2. And if not, what conditions fail? Um, so the three conditions to be a subspace is that it contains the zero vector, and that is closed under addition and um, scalar multiplication. Um, so we do contain zero vector. I can see that x and y. If they're zero, that equals zero, and that equality holds. Um, let's first check if it's true under scalar multiplication. Um, so if I have my vector x, y, and I multiply it by a scalar a, here I have a, x, a, y. Now let's see if that equation will still hold, given that it holds for x and y. Um, we have 2 times a, x plus 3 times a, y. And I can just factor out an a. That gives me two, uh, a times 2x plus 3y. So as we can see, this is just a times what we already know to be 0. Um, so yes, uh, it is um, scalar multiplication, multiplication does hold. Now let's check to see if uh, addition holds. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to define um, two members of this set, v1 and v2. v1, I'm going to say, is x and y. And v2, I'm going to say, is a and b. Um, now we're saying that these are both members of, of the set, meaning that that 2x plus 3y property holds for both of them. Uh, now I'm going to add them together. Um, and add it together, that's just x plus a and y plus b. Now I'll put these into that equation and see if it's still equal to 0. So 2 times my x which is x plus a, plus 3 times my y, which is y plus b. Um, let's distribute these, this out. And rearranging here, I see that I now just have 2x plus 3y plus 2a plus 3b. Um, and because those were our original vectors, which we said were part of that set, um, this is just 0, and that's just 0. Um, so it, uh, addition does hold as well. So because of that, we can say that this is indeed a subspace of R2. Um, so for the second part of this problem, we just need to sketch this set. Uh, of 2x plus 3y equals 0. Um, so we're going to put that equation into uh, y equals form and just plot it on a graph. And that's what this subspace of R2 is going to look like. So 3y equals minus 2x, y equals minus 2 thirds x. So now I'll make a graph. Here's my x and y. Um, the y-intercept is at 0 at the origin, um, and the slope rise over run is minus 2, 3. So we go down 2 and over 3. Um, so there's a point down 2 over 3. There's a point. Um, so that's my sketch of this function. It's just a line that goes like this, and that is uh, a subspace of R2.